It's Wave 105. Last night, if you were listening on the show, uh, I told you about Jack, who lives in the Witterings, and he is going to be uh, in his little kayak on Monday, going across from Ventnor all the way to Cherbourg on Monday, which is a ridiculous thing to be doing. So I said we try and get hold of him. He's on the line now. Jack, tell us about your trip. So on Monday, the 13th of July, next Monday, uh, I'm attempting a 70-mile kayak crossing uh, between Ventnor and the Isle of Wight uh, over to Cherbourg in France. And what is the reason for going all that way when there's a perfectly good ferry that will take you there in comfort and you get tea and coffee and, you know, duty-free and everything? Why are you going to do it in a kayak? Well, that's a good question. It's a good point. I hope I'll get the duty-free on the other end anyway. Once I arrive, there's an incentive. Uh, and a lot of tea and many other nice things as well. But, um, but no, the reason to do it is, one, for a bit of adventure, two, for some training, uh, and three, uh, because next month I'm doing it Hundred mile cup around southern Scotland for the fisherman's mission. So it's a sort of training for that. It's a big, big event. I mean, it's more miles than I do on a day on that, but it's only a one-day trip. So I'll just see if I can do it, and it's something I've always wanted to do. How long do you think it's going to take you? How many, how many miles is it going to be? It's, it, on paper, it's seventy miles, but then you've got a very strong tide that sort of pushes you in an S shape going east or westbound. If you're going to cross over France from from southern England, so it will probably become about eighty, um, which, which which will be tough. I've, I've never done more than sixty before, so in a day. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm assuming that you're going to have some kind of backup, so that if your arms do suddenly start to fall off, you've got somebody who's going to be able to to rescue you. Oh, absolutely, yes, yes. So I, I do. I mean, I wouldn't want to attempt to sort of major sea crossing like that on my own. It'd be pretty, pretty dangerous. Yes, I've, I've got um, got a fishing charter boat. Uh, a man called Glenn from Valkyrie Charles is kindly, kindly going to do it um, for, for a very you know, good way to be charitable. Uh, so he's going to be in front of me doing the navigation uh, and I'll simply follow him um, and he'll call the Coast Guard and communicate and everything with me, with me and with them by radio. But also there's going to be uh, a rib, so a fast motorboat behind us as well so that can sort of pick me off something goes wrong. So yeah, good, good amount of safety cover. It's got to be weird going into Cherbourg because obviously we're used to, you know, like the major, you know, the, the, the major ferries, the car ferries going in. There's going to be you and your tiny little kayak. Is that going to be a safe thing to do? Well, yeah, it, it should be. I mean, I've uh, I've kayaked in England often across you know, Portsmouth Harbour, Southampton, Plymouth, you know, the Solent's quite often. So, so it, it is if you know what you're doing. So, you know, there's a shipping lane, you want to cr- check it's clear, obviously, and, and, and the conditions are fine, and then just cross it pretty directly um, and, and stay out of the channel and that sort of thing. And if you, if you do all of that, and if you communicate by VHF radio with yeah, with that harbour or listen out for it anyway, then you should be all right, really. So, plus I'll have these safety boats, so it should be. Sounds like a proper, proper adventure. As you say, this is just a training day. This is a warm-up for your 700-mile kayak uh, around uh, around Scotland. We're going to put That's right. going to put a link up um, to your website on our Facebook page, uh, so oh, that uh, so that people can uh, can sort of follow your your journey in there. But we'll wish you the very best of luck for um, for Monday coming. What time are you setting off from Ventnor? So Ventnor at 6 a.m. Uh, I'll be meeting. The- where his boat's part and we'll, we'll move to that bit and, and I'll get out at Ventnor and, and, and go from there and I, I think I'll get across around 9.45, 10pm it just depends on the tides and my energy and various things so yeah Best of luck Jack and um, hope it all goes well for you hope it goes great Yeah, thank you thank you ever so much thank you